today on Brothers Fab and Adventure. We're going to fix the transmission hunting issue we've been having with our Jeep AW4 in our Bomba Key snowcat. <laughs> To do that, we bought a Nifty Shifter Jr. from Nick in Time Films on Facebook, which will allow us to put button shifters in so we can control that. We're gonna have to figure out how to connect it all and route it under the floor, but more importantly, we need to find out where we want our buttons and digital display for the gear to go. So we're gonna start with pulling up the floors and figuring out what room we have for everything. all the bolts for the floor. Now we just gotta pry it out of there. So there's the computer that we need to access and see how far forward we can put it. All right, we've got the computer removed. This is the length of harness we got. It looks like it's gonna reach to the front, so we shouldn't need too much extra wiring or anything. Everything should reach. We think we're gonna put our button shifters along this side of the gauge cluster here. We need to fit five of them in there, should be room. And then, I think we're gonna put our indicator right up on top of these other gauges that we have for the transmission and differential temperature sensors. We got these buttons all wired up. It looks like a lot. That's because some of the wires aren't used because these switches can do a number of different things. The ones for the gears are momentary switches. The one for the torque converter is a latching switch. Basically, we have a common power and ground for all of them. We have input wires for each gear, yellow for first, green for second, blue for third, purple for fourth. Uh, and then orange is for the torque converter lock. Basically, there's also an extra wire that powers an LED light so we'll know what gear we're in without having to just look at the display here. These are gonna get plugged into the nifty shifter right there. This jack here is gonna plug into this port here for the digital display. And it's pretty much plug and play at this point. The white and brown wires in this ribbon are connected together, which powers the digital display when you flip the switch will activate the button shifters or the nifty shifter. Just feeding some wires through here so we can start stuffing everything back together. There you got some extra. There's steering bars. It just stays down, yeah. Just pop back out, yeah. Alright. I think I like that. I cool, we can, we can start uh, putting the dash uh, screws back in and stuff. Yep. And uh, tidying up the wire underneath and connecting all the uh, plug and play stuff basically. Got the Nifty Shifter Junior all wired up and installed along with our buttons and our display. To turn on the shifter, you just flip this switch on the display, pick which gear we want to be in along with the torque converter locked or unlocked, 
Unfortunately, our buttons only light up while being pressed, so we're gonna have to take it apart and wire them so they're lit up all the time. But hopefully next time you guys see us, we will be out testing it out, so we'll let you know how that goes. We got the back floor put back in. The dash is back together. Still gotta put the floor panel in the front, but as you can see, we got the buttons lit up full time. That'll be really nice for when we're driving at night. We got the digital display to tell us what gear we're in there. One, two, 